So today's the release date of the uh, Transformers uh, G1 Complete First Season uh, released by Shout and I've been pretty excited about this. Um, I did have the uh, Rhino releases but <clears throat> I got rid of them. I, I only had two of the box sets like one and uh, three part two and four. <clears throat> the, the, all those are together and I remember just not being too uh, thrilled with the quality of them especially how Rhino released them with uh, missing videos and with the mid video and audio tracks are all messed up especially for the first season so I got rid of those and uh, this and G1 was originally supposed to be released by um, Sony at around the same time that um, the 20th anniversary for the movie came out but they went out of business so now this came out I'm getting the individual uh, seasons instead of getting the Matrix collection of, of the whole series just because I think that's a little bit expensive for me right now and I just like the look of having the individual season box sets so um, let's uh, go ahead and open this up, see what's in it. Okay. It's, the box is a, a lot smaller than the first Rhino release too. Okay has this pamphlet or it goes over what what episodes are on each disc with some nice artwork along the way um, I guess the advertisement for the Transformers Club magnet which is actually not too different from the one that uh, Hasbro Hasbro Toy Shop was uh, giving them away f when the first movie came out. If you bought something from their site, this is this is pretty neat. And a comic uh, ad, an ad for the GI Joe season one. Not interested in that. Got some ads for future comics for the Transformers. Pretty neat. <coughs> So, let's look at the actual discs. This has the first two of them. Okay. Nothing too special there. And this is, uh, I think the whole season is actually on this. And this one should just be the special features. Yeah. There's that. So I'm going to um, check out a few episodes and watch the special features and I'll give you my thoughts about them. Alright, I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. So after watching uh, all the first disc, um, which is about half the first season, um, it has uh, been restored to the original broadcast version. Uh, so it is a little bit grainy, so it's not... Uh, digitally remastered which I really like I like that it's um back to the original version and it definitely is very nostalgic um I, d I don't mind the graininess it really doesn't bother me at all and it really has a really cool feature um for any episodes that are uh multi-parters such as the first three episodes you can have an option of either watching them all three of them separately with a uh, end credits and begin credits for each one or for all three of those you can blend them in and give the illusion of them being just one long episode which is a really really a uh, cool little feature and one thing they did leave in which I was really uh, pleasantly really surprised to see that they left in were the um, commercial bumpers where uh, the guy says um, we will return after these messages and then uh, say when it when it's back from commercial saying the Transformers now return. That was really cool. I wasn't sure if they were going to leave that in or not. Now, special features 
are hit and miss. The uh, triple changer from toy to comic screen is awesome. It is really cool. I mean, it gives a lot of insight. It gave, um, it explained some of the consistency errors between the cartoon and comic, such as in the cartoon, uh, Shockwave was absolutely 100% loyal to Megatron. And in the comic, well, Shockwave is kind of a prick and tries to kill him every time. They explained uh, that's like a communication error between the two teams and how they really didn't talk all that well to really make it consistent as possible. And uh, how they how the writer actually picked the names for the Transformers. At one point, Starscream's name was originally going to be Ultar, Ultrar, I think. Which is weird, really weird. Um, the rare PSA is actually quite uh, humorous. It kind of makes fun of itself. Um, actually, kind of. Um, it's very similar to the old G.I. Joe uh, PSAs. In fact, it ends the same way with Bumblebee saying, uh, No, it's half the battle. And then Transformers. Uh, the toy commercials are a little left to be desired because there's only three of them and they still blur out the kids faces which is pretty funny and I was surprised to see that one of the three uh, commercials was a G2 Optimus Prime commercial which uh, really cool one of the earlier uh, examples of CG and Transformers so this is worth it Yes, I believe that is even worth it if you already have the Rhino Seasons. It is, uh, the video is better, it fixes all the problems that the Rhino Edition have. Um, it's, a uh, more compact, they, they, uh, the quality is a lot better, so they, I don't know how they did, but they put more episodes on, on, uh, fewer discs. And the special features are just a lot better, too, and... And if you're anything like me, where you really focus on special features uh, uh, with your DVDs, this is definitely going to be one for you. So, especially if you don't have anything, if you're choosing between either getting the very expensive now Rhino box sets or just getting this, I'll definitely go with these. I can't wait for the for the rest of the seasons to come out now. I'm very, very pleased with this. Alright, until next time, thank you for watching.